Hello, welcome to our video. In this video I'm going to show you how to assemble a Hall Stage T60 curtain track. We're going to start with a simple one and it'll be a single track equipped for walk-along operation. When you get your track kit it comes with a whole pile of bits and pieces. So if we work our way through it logically, the first thing you need to do is to get the fixings in the ceiling so you can fix the track too. Now, we've got ourselves a little bit of stud hanging down here, but if you haven't got a bit of stud, you can fix this directly onto a ceiling or a beam or whatever it is you're fixing it to. But in order to fix the track, you need to start off with the universal fixings. So you start with a fixing plate, which fits, in this case, on the bottom of our piece of stud. And it goes that way around because our track is going to go in that direction. Now different people like to work in different ways. I find the best way to do this is to go along and put all the fixings I need up first and then life is nice and easy. But you can go through fixing section by section. It's whatever works for you. Obviously if you're up the top of a scaffold tower it's actually easier to fix a section at a time. So we get the first plate on and then you'll get these fixings. Now this is where the curtain track is actually going to fit. So the U-bolt fits around that way with the indent facing upwards. So it slides through these two holes at the top of the plate. You put a washer on and then a nut. So now we've got two fixings in place and we're ready to put the first section of track up. So having got the track into place, you now need to do up these U-bolts and on each bracket you should use two U-bolts. The fixings on T60 track need to be about every metre, one metre 25. It depends very much on the weight of the drape you're going to be using and the design capability for, for a track like this is for a, a theatre drape probably about five and a half, six metres in drop. Anything bigger than that, then you need to be using a heavier duty track. Now for the moment, I'll leave everything reasonably loose. We'll go along when we've got everything in place and tighten it all up. So there you are, that's our first section of track in place. So we now have another section of track ready and we need to join it together to the first piece. And in your kit you'll get a pack like this, which is all the fastenings that you need. It's called a joint bolt kit. And you'll see there's different types of bolts. The first version has a thread that goes all the way to the top and the second version has a thread that stops near the top. Now you'll see on the end of the track there's this plate with a whole variety of holes um, and this is how it all joints together. So I tend to use the bottom two holes and then you can use the ones at the side but I like to use the top ones as well. And I use one of the bolts that's threaded all the way to the top or one of the bolts with a shoulder at the bottom and the same at the top. So that just fits into the next track piece like so. And then we have washers and nuts to hold that in place. And you do that with all four nuts. And it's quite important that you get the two pieces of track to line up with each other. If it's a millimetre or so out, then you start to have real problems. It's ready. We now tighten everything up. And it all lines up nice and smoothly along here. There's no edges for our curtain runner to catch on. So just to make sure you've got everything right, if you put a curtain runner in and you're just running up and down. If that's right, and that's all the bits of track now installed, then you can go around and tighten up all the nuts and bolts and get that nice and firmly fixed into place. 
Right, so we've now got the curtain track in place. So now we need to start putting the curtain on. So the, to stop the curtain falling off the end, we need some end stops, which comes in a packet like this. You actually get three parts. This little bent piece of metal, which fits on top of the track, a washer, and this bolt here. And that just screws up underneath. And that will stop everything falling off the end of the track. Then we're ready for the curtain runners. And these are what's called plain wheeled runners. There's varying versions of runners depending on how heavy a drape you're trying to use. For the really heavy drapes, you might want to use the ones with the ball race in it. But for most drapes, these will do the job quite nicely. So all we need now is a drape. So here we are ready to fit the drape. You'll see on the back of the drape, it comes fitted with these snap hooks. You see the top of the snap hook aligns with the top of the drape. And that goes through the hole on the bottom of our runner. So when you're measuring for your drapes, you need to measure from the top of the bottom of the eyelet down to the floor. And there you are. Obviously you're seeing it from behind, but that now is our drape. And that's the track ready to be used. Well, hopefully that shows you how to put together a basic T60 track. As you can see, it really wasn't that difficult. If you need more information, there are manufacturers PDFs on the Hall Stage website, or you can get in touch with us and I'm sure we can help you. Thanks for watching.